Hey guys, welcome back to the White Jacket series. You know, lately I've had opportunity to get involved in a lot of strategic planning ideas. And I thought, you know, this really reminds me or gives me opportunity to think about execution and not just the sequence of planning. So I thought that's what we talk about today. And I'd like to start by giving you um, a story around which we can build some of these ideas. So remember, I've got two girls, Logan and Ashley. And let's take the idea that I ask them to help me with the kitchen, just cleaning up the kitchen. I'll tell them I'll wash the dishes. Ashley, you sweep the floor. Logan, you wipe the countertops. And so Logan grabs the towel or the cloth by the kitchen sink, and she wipes all the countertops moving from the one side of the kitchen to the other. When she gets to the spot where that little blob of strawberry jam is that was left over there from this morning's breakfast, she just keeps wiping and then keeps moving. Well, when I go back and inspect, there's a schmear over there. And so then I go back to the girls and I say, okay girls, when is a job done? And they'll tell me, when it's done right. And so I'll say, okay, what's wrong with this picture right here? Well, there's still strawberry jam on it. Okay, so what did I ask you to do? Well, I, you asked me to wipe the counter. Well, didn't you do that? I did that. Well, but it's not right. So go wet the cloth, come back, wipe it up, rinse it out, dry it, come back, wipe off the wet, and then the job is done. Then you can check the box. That activity is executed. It's complete. And so inherent in the idea of execution is more than a handful of things. One of them is it's about getting all the way done. It's not about getting close. It's not about starting. It's not about in the middle. It's about completion. It's about completely being done with something and be able to say it's done right. I can check the box and move on from there. So what comes to my mind then inherently is the idea that wrapped up within the concept of execution is also this idea or this hint, this unspoken hint of excellence. Right? Because if all I wanted was for Logan to wipe the countertops, then she could have checked that box and said, okay, I wiped them. But if I tell her, I want you to wipe the, the countertops and I want you to make sure that they're clean and ready for food preparation again, then she might have to take a different strategy for cleaning the strawberry off that spot. And so excellence as a part of the mandate for execution becomes almost, I think, an unspoken, implied something that we as leaders convey to the folks who we're working with. And let's face it, what we do here around Gateway is highly collaborative. There's very few of us that do what we do by ourselves. Most of what we do, we have to do with other people. And so your ability to convey ideas and to inspire collaboration and to get execution along with excellence is a really important idea. So what do you do? What do you do when you have an idea that you're wanting to get executed, you have to delegate it to somebody else because there's no way you're going to get it all done, and you're hoping for or needing not just execution, but excellence? Well, I think that the natural tendency is to begin to say, well, here's the steps I want you to take. You have to wet the cloth. You have to wipe it in this manner, and then you have to rinse it. And so then now you've, now you've locked yourself into this detailed requirement of all the finite little tiny steps that have to be done in order to accomplish what you're hoping to have accomplished. And that can be done, but it's incredibly laborious for the receiver, for the person who's on the hearing end of the instruction. Because there's no space for them to get involved in it themselves. They just feel completely like robots. All I'm doing is precisely what you've told me. And you've tightened the screws down to where there's no room for me to interpret whatsoever. And so I think that that kind of instruction is actually almost demoralizing in a way. I think perhaps what might be more beneficial in terms of execution in a collaborative world like ours is if we left room for there to be some autonomy in those who are doing the doing and invited them to understand the full implications of the outcome. So when you're selling the vision, when you're talking about what needs to be executed, don't just talk about what the end looks like. Describe the win and make that clear. But talk about why. Talk about why you need to do what you've got to do. Because if I tell Logan, honey, we need to wipe the countertops because we want to have them clean so that there'll be no flies. And secondly, because we're about to begin preparing food for dinner and we don't want any contamination. So it's healthier for all of us. 
then that helps her understand, well, now I know that the countertops have got to be clean, and she can interpret in her own way what's required to get rid of the strawberry on the, on the top of the, the counter. Talk about the why. Be as clear as you can about what execution actually means. When is a job done? What's done when it's done right? Thanks for listening. Good to talk with you. We'll see you again next time.